Good morning, everybody. We are in Matata. This is where we spent the night um, on the boat because we got here late and we didn't know what to do, so we just parked. We've been boondocking right in a boat. Well guys, we're back on the water, but we're on Aviemore this time. And we've just put the boat in here, which is, um... Patterson's? Parsons Rock. Uh, campsite, which is a campsite here you can camp at. Um, you just book, I, I think, online or pay your fees or whatever. And we are here for the Aviemore Classic. Which is a yacht race that they have here every year. And, um, we're not actually participating this year, we've just come out to watch. And um, my brother's racing on one of these boats, and he's trying to figure out which one. Yeah, could be anything. Um, pretty nice day, we've got a steady, I think it's supposed to be northwest or something, light winds. Um, should make for a good, good day sailing, I think. We're just going to potter out here, I've got my cold snacks. Um, it's like nearly 10 o'clock in the morning, so that's a good time for cold snacks. And um, we're just, yeah, gonna kick it. Have a good time. Maybe camp up, up here somewhere, out onto the main lake a wee bit more. Uh, good times. Parked up on the shore, watching the racing. Probably can't even see them out there. Just connected up my new solar panel. Looks like it's working good. It's reasonably windy out there, it's about 18 knots. You can see a couple of them healing over pretty good. There's a few spinnakers out there that are a bit out of control. Good times. We uh, motored out to the top mark and uh, chucked the anchor over in about, I uh, can't remember how much it was now, 20 metres-ish of uh, depth and uh, sat back and watched all the boats go around the mark which was pretty cool but um, unfortunately the anchor didn't hold that well for a start off and um, we kept dragging so we're actually slowly dragging back towards the top mark which wasn't ideal but eventually it held and um, it was pretty pretty awesome sight to be able to watch all the boat go, boats go around the mark that was pretty cool Not sure how close some of these boats actually were to each other but from where we were sitting it looked like some of them were pretty close um, which was very entertaining it was no, no, awesome you have to. they don't have the tow rails in the water much this one coming across here is yeah <laughs>
So the Aviemore Classic boat race um, consists of three days of sailing, uh, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, on the Friday and the Saturday they do like four, I think it is, short races each day. And on the Saturday afternoon I think they do like a fun race as well, which is pretty cool. And um, then on the Sunday is the main race, which they do all the way up to the top of the lake, uh, to, yeah, up to the dam and back twice. You know, that pretty much, well, takes quite a while. Um, next year I think's like the trailer yacht nationals or something, so it's like a big deal. Yeah, um, so if you're into sailing and you like watching sailboats and all that sort of stuff, uh, Labour Weekend next year, 2023, will be uh, the year to come down, stay at Matata, watch some boat racing, party hard, they have a band in the um, pub and all that sort of stuff, so yeah, it's a good weekend. Sales grey boat, blue skip, spinnaker potentially. Oh yeah, potentially that's the Genica or something, which is kind of what that is. Because it's it's tacked at the front and the bottom. Nice job. It's still, <coughs> still racing out there. Race three now. Oh, come here. Yeah, he's coming up to the top mark now, which is there somewhere. Can't really tell until he puts his spin up. <laughs> Yeah. So I think there's one more race to go, maybe. Or are they doing race five three, races? Five. Oh, so race three of five. So two more races to go after this one. I think they're making up for yesterday because they only got three races in yesterday due to light winds. So. We, um, I should show you, we anchored out there before and it was really good. We dragged a little bit and then we held really good. And then when I went to leave, um, I found out why we held so good. I'll show you. I couldn't get the anchor up and then I finally did and it was stuck. I had this stuck in it. It's a bit of wood wedged in there. So we obviously got stuck on a tree branch. Uh, I'll throw that back in. <laughs> And we just parked up over on the other side now of the Aviemore, I like Aviemore. And there's a little boat ramp in here. I didn't know there was a boat ramp in here, so that's pretty cool. Looks like pretty good conditions for racing though. Pretty constant 18 knots roughly. It's a shame I can't really zoom in on this. One of these days we'll get a proper camera. Can't have any more sexier than people on opposite jives. <laughs> I 
except for whoever that is who's just cocked up their spinnaker completely. <laughs> Alright, they've saved it. Oh, we've got a drone in the air. That obviously means there's pretty light winds. these guys are doing but they've gone to the wrong mark obviously because they're coming back and yeah. I think we should turn the radio down so I can oh they've, they've saved it they've saved it yeah oh no no they haven't oh maybe they have no, they got it. It, it just was, like literally dropped off the top. <laughs> that was lucky. <laughs> Mind you, it's not massively windy. So it's not the end of the world, but it's definitely going to fuck up your race. <laughs> How good. There you go, there's the main fish road up towards Haida Matata. After the dramas of trying to anchor last time to watch the yachts around the top mark, uh, we opted for just sailing back and forwards on the Gennaro for this next race um, which hopefully didn't confuse too many of the people in the race my bad if, if it did Thank you. 
<laughs> Yay, we won! <laughs> <laughs> we won! <laughs> in front is the one that my right, brother was crewing hey. on and uh, <laughs> the rest of these guys came all the way from Nelson for the weekend and um, some people came all the way from like up north North Island somewhere so it, it's pretty well attended eh? Alright this is going to be our park up for the night Nice wee bay Nice calm spot. Got some cold snacks. Cook up a bit of a feed. Get on the piss. It's good. See what tomorrow brings. We spilled some water, it's just as well we have. Not one, not two. <laughs> Three rolls of Kleenex tissue. Oh. Wow, you never want to be short of Kleenex tissue, guys. Nope, life is not good. Right, it thing. just wouldn't be worth living. <laughs> Honestly, but. we'll definitely use almost two, I'm telling you. Almost two. <laughs> just as well we've got three then, isn't it? No, the the up. Yeah, the <laughs> yep. Yeah. Thank Mind God you. for Kleenex. And uh, fans only, <laughs> only fans. What's it called? Put fetish here, guys. Come on, get a, get amongst it. We'll start a page. Oh, oh people, no! Oh, look at that. Oh, people are probably loving that. <laughs> I don't know what. You weirdos. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're bored. Probably a little drunk. No, we're not. Sunstroke. <laughs> Just tired, maybe, because yeah. we're old. We're old. <laughs> Apparently, we're old. Well, some of us are old. We're just loved by those guys. <laughs> Here we go. We've got the old solar panel charger in. What is that thing on my toe? <laughs> Quite concerned now. <laughs> Fourteen volts. Anyway, we'll have a view out the window. Perfect. Well, the wind's changed now. It's like a easterly, I suppose. It's supposed to change back tomorrow, so we'll see what happens. It'll probably just die out, maybe. Who knows? Here's our wee spot. Got squeaky jandals. Well, we had to move spots because it filled in with an easterly and we were getting blown onto shore so we moved to this wee corner piece here and uh, just sort of show you the sunset and um, in typical snafu fashion when we were putting the anchor chain out um, I go all the way to the end of the chain and um, the D-shackle that connects the chain to the boat had fallen apart and so my anchor everything just fell in the water and we had to fish it out but there yeah. were bonuses, weren't there? <laughs> weren't there Brent, Brent had to strip down no. into his undies to get the anchor chain. I know. And um, Sharon didn't film it because she was too busy perving. Giggity! <laughs> so it's basically the female version of Quagmire, we've decided. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But anyway, look at this Look at this evening. Like the wind's dying what, off. And it's pretty much what I came for, is to strip down and uh, fish out the anchor, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they'll, and they'll go again, you know. 
Yeah. Till the next time the anchor needs fishing out. Yeah, it's like you just... That's not a euthanism either, is it, Sharon? Nope. No, it yeah. actually fell in the water. And if it falls in the water again tomorrow, then I'm going to suspect foul play, aren't I, Sharon? Or well, maybe Sharon could go get it. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. If Sharon could strip down, you know. <laughs> Isn't that a picture, though, eh? Yeah, just, just check out that view. How good. How good, guys. It's supposed to be windy tomorrow, so it could be interesting. Sharon's already said she's not going to go sailing. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see how far those it's marks It's only because Stewie go goes crazy. <laughs> No, he's fine. He's fine. No, Daryl told me he was crazy. <laughs> nah, no. Nah. Yeah, he's fine. Anyway. <laughs> hmm. uh, because you think it's windy, it's probably not going to be windy. Yeah. No, I think it's going to be windy. <laughs> nah. Should be alright. We can do it on those. If we can do it on those little boats, you can do it in this. Mm. Yeah. Although we have got a 300 kg anchor bowl, uh, keel bowl. On yours? Yeah, right. No. Yeah, one stage we thought the anchor wasn't, oh, the keel wasn't even going down. It's like, mm, I think it went down. No, no, I let it go again. Boom! <laughs> oh, I think it's down! <laughs> I can't see you anyway. <laughs> oh my god, Tom's looking at me! Oh, look at this. Look at this. No. I don't know, look at it. Look at this. Here's Sharon doing <laughs> Sharon things. <laughs> <laughs> Does it look like I farted? Probably uh, anyway, didn't overlay and it sounded. No, probably not. <laughs> it's gonna be like. Keep it low key, keep it softly spoken. With no strings tied, you 